Hello everyone, I hope you've been doing well through all this craziness. We're going to start getting back to more routine stuff on the channel, but what you're here for is some more awesome sunglasses reviews, right? If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, follow along, we'll keep you up to date on all the coolest things Barnet and all the sunglasses lines, as well as some cool tips and tricks for glasses in general and on to what you want to know about. So this is one of the newer pieces from Varney from their 2000 series. I have been glowing about this collection since it came out. It's some of their nicest work yet. I'm a huge fan of the way they've tweaked these frames. They've made some nice revisions to the 1600 series that you'll see another time. Actually, yeah, we can probably do that soon. I've got another one of those here anyways. I'm babbling. What you want to see is this guy. This is the 2002. Probably one of my f personal favorites from the new collection because it's a nice men's piece, very nice square. It kind of reminds me of my Leibach in York Amsterdam, so of course I'm a fan of it. The big chunky square look is in. I love it. <laughs> I am here for it more than ever. Now, let's actually zoom in and take a good look at this frame. So now that we are nice and up close and personal with the 2002, right off you'll see we've got some very nice beveling across that top edge and into the back. It's a nice smooth finish through there. Rolls over, a very nice polished finish like we've seen on all of the newer pieces. Personally, I love this classic Havana look. It's almost like a tortoise, but not white. See, it's more striped than spotted, and that gives it a really, really classic look. Here is one of the bigger pieces they've changed, and that is moving to the signature V stored right there in the temple, and that may be one of my only complaints about the frame. I think it's a nice new upscale addition. When we get around to the back side, I'll show you why I'm not a huge fan of it, but of course, then they've added this little inset here for Varnay. It's a nice touch and it looks good. We'll see how those hold up over the long term. Overall, I love the shape of this frame. You'll see we're a little bit thicker acetate than what you would normally see with some of these sunglasses, so that's gonna make for really nice durability over the long term. The nose pads, like we saw on the 2002, are cut at a panoscopic angle, so that's gonna fit the bridge a lot better on most people. That's not really wide and fat at the middle like my Amsterdam, which is personally a thing I don't like as much, but I'll get over it. Now, this one in particular is equipped with the blue polarized lenses. I am not a huge fan of blue polar lenses, but I know a lot of people are. In particular, out on the water, it has a lot of advantages. This is not something I'm around much, so it's not a big deal to me. And as we work back around, what you'll see here, we didn't really talk about on the other side, is that really nice finish going from the temple to the frame front. It's almost seamless unless you get at just the right angle, you can make it out there. But overall, very seamless. So you're going to run your finger across it. That's not something you're going to feel, but you can see it. Again, if you get just across at that right angle. Then, as we continue on, still very nice and sleek and well polished, and again, very nice and beveled and rounded through that. One thing they've changed here, which I do like, is they have added the signature logo into the very back of the temple. Now we're going to work back around on the frame, working from the back, because this is where the magic happens on glasses like this. We move back up through into the front, of course made in France, as all Varnay are, Another nice insert from Varnay's with their signature there. Now here is the one thing I mentioned that I will say personally I dislike when it comes to the new design. They've cut out for the V here and that's not quite as well finished inside as the rest of the frame. You can see it's still polished but it's not something that happens before the entire frame is polished and I understand why they do that. My camera is not cooperating, guys. There we go. So, the reason you can see there now it's not as finished, the reason they leave that is so you can get that nice defined V across. If this was done before all of the final polishing steps, you wouldn't have that defined V inset. It would be softened a bit, you would round out those edges a bit more, and then this guy here, that little screw, now, some frames, I've seen this not hold up very well in the long term. That'll kind of round and stretch out a bit. 
I don't think that's going to happen in this case because it's not holding the stress of the temple to the plastic and it's really just there for that little V on the opposite side. So that's what holds that guy in place. It's not putting a lot of stress on it. I'm just not personally sure how that's going to hold up. Now, if you don't care about the V being there, then there's no concern. As far as the overall durability of the frame, it's not going to affect that. Now, this is a nice change on all of their designs. They've upgraded the hinge, which you can see they've reinforced it a bit. You've got a little bit more overlap. Still a five barrel hinge, which is always going to be good. And you can see, again, here, the way this temple core goes in, that screw I pointed out earlier is not supporting any of this holding on to the temple. Now that we've taken a good look at the frame, they make this in, I think it's six different colors, maybe it's five with a different lens option in between, but this is definitely on my favorites list. I am loving the new version of the square. Now they've always had the square in the 1618, I believe it was, and it's nice. It's a little bit more thin frame. It's not as chunky. It doesn't have that panto coat at the bridge that I pointed out earlier. So overall, comfort, finish quality, everything's kind of ramped up in this frame. I think it's all going to go together very, very nicely. Maybe we'll see the phasing out of the 1600 series. I don't suspect so because they went through the trouble of redesigning the 1600 series to go with an accent along with the new 2000 series. So it could be a compliment. It could be phasing out. We'll see next year, I guess. Anyways, I will catch you guys next time. If you liked this video, like it, and let me know down below. If you're going to get these frames, check out the links down below because I actually carry these. Obviously, I'll see you guys next time.